Thank you, Congressman Newhouse. Thank you for leading the effort on this. And I rise to oppose the Green New Deal for many of the reasons that have already been said, but this is the most amateurish resolution that has come before this Congress uh, in a long time, not from my, uh, only my point of view, but many others who have served longer than, than I have. Um, we are asked to consider a policy that would change every aspect of American life, deciding what we eat, how we travel, how we stay warm, and even what jobs we can take and what homes we're allowed to live in. We are presented with a total overhaul of society, but with no explanation how. There's no roadmap, no method of impl implementation, and of course, no price tag. All we know is that this will be dictated by a cabal of better knowing bureaucrats. Yet every estimate shows just how unrealistic this Green Deal really is. According to the American Action Forum, the total cost would run as high as $93 trillion over 10 years. This totals 21 times our current federal budget of $4.4 trillion. That can only mean one thing for the American people, taxes, taxes, and more taxes. This resolution is so lacking in details, we might as well vote on the merits of a scrap of paper that says, solve the problem. There is no way to govern. The only details we do have from a, uh, from a survey that was sent out, which enjoyed a brief existence online before it was removed out of embarrassment and has since been denied. One source of embarrassment was called to get rid of cows. To my knowledge, ladies and gentlemen, this is the first time that a member of this house has called for bovine genocide. That's the New Deal supporters are now hiding these facts reveals that the true agenda behind the new Green Deal is too horrifying to be shared with any of the public. As a rule of thumb, any law that cannot be shared with the people cannot serve the people. I yield my time.